So we're working in a jobs market where the official statistics tell us there's still over one million job vacancies in 2023. And that's been a continuous position for the last couple of years. So, so one of the things that comes up when I'm uh, talking to people is how, how do you even get started on this journey? So how, how do you introduce the conversation um, when recruiters say to me that they don't know if somebody has a disability? They don't know whether this person will need any adjustments for the recruitment process because they simply aren't told about it. So so what do you do to even start the conversation? Kate, what do you think is the most important thing to do there? The most important thing is to have the conversation. Um, and I can speak from personal experience. I'm partially sighted. I carry a white stick. I didn't use it for five years because I didn't want to be identified by the fact I carried a white stick and was partially sighted. It's not easy for people to talk about their disability. It doesn't define them totally. So the thing is to have a nice open conversation with every single candidate, very simply, want to make this a really special experience for you, want to make sure you do really well. So if you're the right candidate, I know I've, I've found you. So is there anything I need to know that, that can make the process more accessible and enjoyable for you? Short videos, little case studies and ask, ask, ask and then ask again, because people are not going to say it first time around. Mm. And are you saying that you do that in person? How do you, how do you do that? So if you so so let's um, go through the process. And Pauline, perhaps I'll bring you in here as well. Is like um, Pauline, what would you say? So somebody is looking to hire into a role. Um, at what stage do you do that asking? You know, it's before you even get a chance to ask. So if you think about the first thing that a candidate's going to see, the first thing they'll see is the advert. The second thing they're going to do is they're going to look at the job description in more detail. And then the third thing that will happen is that they'll 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 get in, they'll be in touch with a recruiter. So when I think of that process, being able to engage and encourage candidates to come forward who require a disability, it's right at the very beginning stages from when you first advertise that job. And I think when, you know, when we, when as a business leader and when we think about what we're trying to do in our organization, it's simply to bring the best talent in and that talent may have a disability may need a slight adjustment may need something slightly different in the process or for you to be aware of timings of the interviews or what you do you know what what's required maybe um from an on-camera perspective uh, there are so many different small steps that you can take but they won't even know that you're open and willing to create an inclusive environment and that you want the best talent unless you make it clear at the very, very beginning. So I would start even before you talk to a candidate, because you are literally talking to candidates as you put that job as you put that job advert out. I think that's really important, isn't it? Is that remember that the moment you start any communication, it's what's what's going to encourage people to opt in to the process and not to opt themselves out and in a way that you won't even know um, because you won't have had that conversation, you won't have been able to. 